Hey everybody, what's good? Rad Dad Cooks here. Yo, you a big time pulled pork fan, but don't really like the way it comes out in your crock pot, but also don't have a smoker at home? Rad Dad Cooks got your back. Check out Rad Dad Cooks amazing smoked barbecue pork butt roast in a crock pot with the bark and all. We're starting off with a pork butt. Into that, we are going to put this dry rub on there. Two tablespoons of coffee, one tablespoon chili, one teaspoon cumin, one two teaspoon salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, and we're going a whopping three tablespoons of brown sugar with a teaspoon of onion powder. Stir it all to combine it. I find a whisk really gets uh, that brown sugar broken up and all the spices mixed in with each other. We're gonna take our pork butt, I mean, it's called a pork butt, but it's actually off the shoulder. Sometimes it'll be called a picnic roast. We're gonna remove this big old flap of fat right here. All right? We don't want that, but hey, put that in a bag, man. If you're gonna make some sausage, you might wanna add some fat back to it, and that's a good place to get it. All right, now we're gonna start crushing this thing out, covering it in that dry roast, patting it, rubbing it, massaging it, getting it into every last little nook and cranny on our roast. So once you got it all like this, you're going to want to let that sit for about an hour, hour and a half, two hours maybe on your counter. Let it get to room temp and let it absorb some of those spices. Then we're going to kick our broiler on with our oven shelf on the second to the top. Don't close that door, okay? That's going to let that broiler keep running. We're going to let this thing brown up. We're going to do five minutes on each side. After you hit five, pull it out, rotate it, put it back in. The reason we're doing this is this is going to create that awesome bark for us. It's going to give us that authentic taste. You can't really sear it in a pan because all that rub would just burn onto the pan. Once your roast is looking like this, all barked up like a tree, it's time to get it into the crock pot. Also, besides our roast, we want to get some cooking liquid in there. It's kind of how a crock pot works. It has to have a little bit of a liquid. We're going beer. We're going to go a little bit of liquid smoke to get that smoky flavor. It's one teaspoon liquid smoke, seven teaspoons of whatever beer you'd like. And we're going to pour this in on and around that roast. Put a lid on it. We're going to do it on high. We're going to go two and a half hours. Don't take that lid off, okay? Because it takes a while to build up that heat and that moisture. After two and a half hours, take the lid off. Using a spoon, we're going to baste our roast with the juices that are all around it. Another two and a half on high. I know some of you guys might be like, well, I thought we were going to slow cook this. Why are we doing it on high? Well, high in my particular crock pot, if you hit it with a temp gun, is actually right around 222 degrees, so that's right where we want to be. After your second two hours, we're going to pull out that roast, take out the sleeve, because you want to get all that liquid out of there. We don't want to overdo it with that burnt cooked liquid smoke. Put the roast back in. When that bone pulls out, that means you are ready to go. We are going to add back one ounce of that liquid though from the bottom that we just drained. Now we're going to start to pull our pork. Now you don't have to go crazy. You don't want to turn this into some minced cat food. Just kind of gently go through it with your tongs and separate it. You can see how amazing that bark looks on there. You're not going to get that with any other method. Once we get it all separated, we're going to add about four ounces of Rad Dad Cook's Piedmont sauce. Piedmont sauce is like a Carolina-style vinegar-based barbecue sauce. Really thin, great to serve with pulled pork, but also adds some really nice flavor to it as well, and it moistens it up. We're going to mix all that in once we get it mixed in. Sometimes, you know, I'll throw another, another little squirt on there for good measure. Keep it moist until it's time to serve it. Now at this point you can give it a taste and if it's not quite smoky enough for you, then we're going to go ahead and correct for smokiness. Now you can always add smoke but you can't take it away. Now in this final round we're going one half teaspoon of liquid smoke to three and a half teaspoons of beer. And this is because that liquid smoke is so strong you've got to dilute it so you don't overdo it. And you're going to need a little bit of like a buffer solution so that way you can get it evenly coated on your pork and not just go wham with an eighth of a teaspoon on one little piece and that's the only piece that gets it. Go ahead and stir in your liquid smoked beer correction. Give it a little taste. 
in this particular batch right here, we ended up adding back one and a half teaspoons of that beer liquid smoke mixture. This pulled pork is ready to serve. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe, found it easy to follow, and I just blew your mind with what could be in your crock pot making pulled pork. Bring this to your next barbecue. Let everyone guess, man. Just tell them you did it in the smoker and see what they say. Well, thanks a lot, guys. We will see you next time. If you're new, please subscribe. And everyone, hit that like button. Peace.